Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been a few days since I have uploaded a video, but I told you in the last video that I did, I wanted to make sure that when I came back on here, that I came back with some meaningful content that was something that I would enjoy bringing to this channel. And so I spent some time in my creativity and I actually pulled out some things that I had worked on in the past and I wanted to share those things with you. So these are my altered envelopes. And as you can see, these are just simple envelopes that you use for cards. And I'm gonna show you how I made these today. And I really enjoyed doing this. And so I'm in the process now of creating some beautiful cards for my Etsy shop. So these will be going into my Etsy shop. And I wanna show you guys how I make these. And I'm going to be selling my cards with accompanying envelopes in my shop. So I'll leave a link down below once those are ready. So anyway, basically these are some of the ones that I have made. I've used some lace and some stamping. Um, we're going to be using some napkins because you guys know I love decoupaging with napkins. It's like my favorite thing. We're going to be using some homemade shimmer sprays. And, I mean, just look at the beauty of these envelopes. And you guys can do these, too. Now, if you don't want to mess with doing that yourself, then by all means, please come on over to my Etsy shop. I would be happy to have you. And please keep in mind, too, that uh, once, you, once you decoupage and you spray paint on your envelopes, um, the stickiness part up here is going to go away. So you're going to need to use some double-sided tape if you're going to make these and then you just peel off the one side so you put the double-sided tape down and then when you're ready to put your card in it and seal it then you know pull the paper off so you can actually seal because that's going to happen when you're using uh, these envelopes that sticky part's going to go away. So these are just some of the ones that I made. And then I didn't really go out and buy any envelopes. Um, I went to, oh gosh, I went everywhere. My local thrift store. I went to Goodwill. Um, any place that I could find to get basically leftover envelopes. And that's where I got these. And you can create small ones for thank you cards. Or you can create regular sized ones. And then... What I do is because I make my own cards is I cut the cards to fit whatever envelope that I'm going to be using them with. So I try, I'm trying to pair my cards with my envelopes and go that route. So let me just go over some of the items that we're going to be working with. So here's a paper napkin and I love florals. I love shabby chic. So we're going to be using that. Um, these have butterflies and different types of flowers on them. These have birds. And I may pull out some different elements as we go. We'll see how that goes. So we'll see where my creativity takes me. And I also have all these scraps of lace. So I thought I would pull out my scraps of lace instead of my rolls of lace because I feel like I want to try to start using up some of these scraps. Look at this one. Isn't this gorgeous? It has, it has such a sheen. It's so like shiny. Hopefully that's coming off on camera so you can see that. So I have all these lace scraps that we're going to be using here. And then, and look at this one. This is, I think, a, an applique that I just cut up. These are just beautiful. And then what I have here is some bling. I don't know if I'll be using bling or not. I brought it out just in case I want to snip off a piece for interest. You never know. I have this bling here. It's just some gold, uh, just some gold bling trim. It's from the Dollar Tree. Here's another one, some silver bling trim, and I think it's much like. Oh, it's a little different one from this one. It's a little different from that one, so we'll see. And then to go with my lace, I always have pearls. And I bought this roll of pearls at Michael's for $10. And then I had my 50% off coupon. It's in the wedding and floral section. Um, but I had my 50% off coupon. So I ended up getting this whole roll of pearls for $5. Not bad. So I'm going to start with... 
these cards and these I got from Goodwill and what happens is people will buy a bunch of cards because they want to have a bunch of cards on stock um, I know my grandma used to do that she would buy a bunch of uh, cards to keep on hand so if somebody had a birthday because she didn't go out much and she didn't drive much she would keep cards on hand so that she could give them away when people had birthdays or anniversaries or what have you and so what happens a lot is people will do that and then they'll clean out their stash of everything and they'll say to themselves oh I guess I don't need these anymore and they'll just get rid of them so if you go to the first store if you go to Goodwill then you'll be able to find um, if you look over in the miscellaneous area a lot of times there'll be uh, places where they'll just stack this type of stuff up so I'm gonna grab some uh, some of my homemade DIY shimmer sprays and if you guys haven't seen that video take a look down below um, and I'll show you I'll put a link to that video showing you how I make these so give me one second now usually I just grab one or two bottles I'm gonna grab the whole case today because I don't know what colors I'm gonna feel like using um, I'm just gonna let creativity take their role um, but how I make these and I'll show you in the video is I use the Jane Davenport inks or I will use the PH Martin inks okay so those are the two that I use and uh, what I do is they're shimmer sprays and I mix them with the Golden's iridescent pearl you don't want to shake these up really vigorously because you don't want to clog your nozzle what I do is I turn them upside down and I roll them in my hands and the motion of the rolling will then stir that shimmer up into your inks so that's how I kind of use these and see how it was on the bottom and now it's not so don't shake this vigorously so this one is fairy floss and that one is actually the color from Jane Davenport and I'm not trying to market my own um, shimmer mists by using her name so please don't misunderstand the only reason that I have fairy floss on here is so that when I need to make more of this I know which ink that I need to go and use I don't market these I don't sell these I only show people how you can make your own that is it so I have fairy floss and then this one is called Frida and again you just want to roll it in your hands to shake it up and I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to use, but these are just gorgeous. Look, it looks like I'm going to have to make more Frida soon. This one's almost out. So I have Frida, and I have no idea what color this one is. This one is simply just ink. There's no shimmer in it. I don't even have a name. I think this one's just purple. Just purple. Same here. This one's just a green. It has no name on it because it's not a shimmer spray. It's just ink. Again, here's a blue one. Just ink and alcohol, y'all just ink and alcohol here's a brown one now this one I really like using uh, because I like that tea dyed look and the girl does not have time to go into the kitchen and make tea dyed paper okay I run a full-time business I have a part-time business and then I do this <laughs> so I don't have time for tea dyeing paper so what I do is I make uh, my own spray that resembles tea dyed and I make it just with brown ink and alcohol. And I'm going to set them off to the side so they're not in the way of the video. But just know that that's what these are when I grab these and use them. That's what I'm using. So I actually want to grab a piece of scrap paper. Here's a good one. This is a scrap of paper and I can always use the other side. And I just very well may use the other side for a card. Um, I'm curious what color this is. I want to say it's either black or brown, but we're going to find out. And that is not an alcohol ink. I believe that is just water. Yeah, I think that's just water because um, it doesn't smell like alcohol to me. This is kind of a black brown. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll find a way to use that somewhere. So... looks like my nozzles trying to clog and there's not even any shimmer in here oh you know why because my little tube down at the bottom is like touching 
this is something you kind of want to watch out for if your little tube at the end of your spray nozzle is touching the side it could be very difficult to get your ink out so what I like to do when that happens and I never really have to worry because mine are never really ever empty but I just come in and just snip off about an eighth of an inch of it and that kind of just it's still touching the bottom but it I think it kind of lets it curl around a little bit more and you can kind of see too that there's a little bit of build up in there too so that can happen so if that if you get clogging then just keep an eye out for that yeah this is gonna clog right up and not work for me today Sometimes you have to just take the nozzle off and just kind of pump some air through it. But I am actually going to cut a little bit more of this tube off just to kind of help it along. And I really hope that didn't just fly into my coffee. <laughs> yeah, see how that helps it out a little bit? I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see the tube isn't quite wrapped around now. So let's see if that helps. Yeah, there we go so that helped I'm just gonna spray both sides of my envelope and we're just gonna give it that tea dyed effect and now I'm gonna grab my dryer and I'm just gonna dry it okay so now I want to decide what color I think I'm going to use watermelon on this one because I think I'm going to be using some pink flowers. And you can also shake it like this, you guys, if you if you want to. Just don't really vigorously shake it. Just turn it upside down. Kind of agitate it back and forth and it'll get that shimmer. But look how beautiful this is. I love the shimmer. It's so gorgeous. So you guys have to check my video out down below on how to make these. I'm just going to just very sporadically spray and even if it comes out like that I don't care you know and now I think I want to use Berrylicious I think I want a little bit of a darker pink on there I better drink my coffee before it gets cold it's early on a Sunday morning here we're still not quite ready to go back to church yet Dennis can't breathe well in a mask so I try to just do church at home oh look at this color oh that's gorgeous oh my gosh look at that shimmer this is gonna be a really beautiful card you guys Now each time I spray something new, I'm taking a second and drying it just so my paper doesn't get too saturated because these card envelopes are made of regular paper, so you got to kind of dry it in between. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is. I'm so happy. I'm getting ink everywhere, but I'm so happy. So one element that, oh my gosh, I am knocking everything over. So one element that I forgot to mention that we're going to be using is some stamping. So I'm going to grab some background stamps. So give me just a second. So I also grabbed a few inks. We're going to be using Victorian Velvet, Tattered Rose, Spun Sugar, Gathered Twigs, and then this is a memento one called espresso truffle so we're going to be using that we're going to be using 
these floral uh, sprigs here and some of these little elements here and I have some frames I don't know if I'll use those yet we might we'll see but then I have this text background stamp and this is one of my favorite text background stamps to use and I think I'm gonna start with that one and I'm gonna use the espresso truffle um, I really love this uh, text background stamp because it really adds such a beautiful background to whatever journal page card what have you that you're working on and I love the way that it looks it just gives such a nice element and then you have that ghosting effect when you stamp it um, and re-stamp it so I love the way that that looks and I'm just going to do it again on the other side and I try to go to the middle of the stamp if I can that way I'm not getting harsh lines on the edges see how that doesn't give any harsh lines I go to the middle of the stamp and that's the reason why ooh, 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 I love the way this looks okay now on this side I want to use this floral spray I don't know what you call it that's what I call it let me grab an acrylic block I guess it's a floral spray I don't know a sprig a spray I don't know someone correct me someone correct me please okay what color do I want to use on this oh goodness what would show up well <clears throat> I'm thinking I want to use Victorian velvet we're gonna see how it does I mean what's the worst that could happen it doesn't show up well you know whatever I'm not a perfectionist even though my zodiac sign would say otherwise I guess in a way I'm kind of a perfectionist but I'm learning not to be my inner critic needs to just go sit down and be quiet I'm not listening to her right now okay and I think I'm going to put that right right here oh I like the way that looks oh my goodness that's gorgeous let me just silence my phone people are trying to text me while I'm filming a video oh I love the way that looks I wonder if I can get the ghosting from what's left over on the other side if not it's okay not really that's all right I love that oh gosh that's so pretty okay now what I think I want to do though oh this has got me so excited I love making these envelopes they are just so beautiful okay whoops gotta go the right way Ange <laughs> gotta go the right way okay what color do I want to use for this now sponge sugar tattered rose gathered twigs I think I'm gonna try this gathered twig I bet it would be pretty This is going to be beautiful. Oh, yes, yes, and more yes. Now I want to do the same thing on this top corner up here, and it's going to go this way. So we'll do that one more time. go this way I'm 
Wow, that's beautiful. I think I want to use my paper to kind of clean my stamps off on. And this will make a great uh, element you can use later on in other journal pages. Beautiful. I love being creative on a Sunday morning with a cup of coffee. It just makes my whole day to just be able to spend time in my craft room working on these things that I just love to work on. Now, I've got to go out later. I meant to go to Hobby Lobby yesterday, but it didn't happen. I've got to go out later, and I want to get some more elements to add to these things. I'm all out of my little silk flowers that I like to use, but for now, we're just going to add some, I think we're going to add some lace to this. Where do I want to add lace to? I'm just going to play for just a few minutes to get an idea of what I'd like to do. Now these are not going to be cards to mail if you're going to be adding a lot of uh, what I would call built up elements on the outside of it. If you're just going to be doing, you know, a, a, a nice, ooh, if I could speak this morning. If you're just going to be doing a nice label on the front or maybe writing in calligraphy on a darker, with a darker ink, um, or even just, you know, whatever, a Sharpie, a black pen, whatever. Um, if you're just going to be putting the address on the front of this and you're going to be making this card as is, it needs to be able to run through the machine. So don't mail these if you guys are planning on putting a bunch of added elements. That would be a card that you would want to hand someone in person or take to a wedding or something like that. Because if you try to send it in the mail, it could very potentially get ruined and then you're not going to be happy because your loved one got a card that didn't come out the way that you wanted it to. So I like to hand deliver these cards or what you can also do is put it in a padded envelope and you could uh, ask them at the post office not to machine the uh, envelope. Just tell them it can't go through the machine. So there's lots of things you can do. Oh, I kind of like the way that looks. I don't know why this reminds me of London Bridge when I look at this. <laughs> I'm so weird. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut this lace to fit. I look at this and it's like all of a sudden London Bridge popped in my head. Silly girl. Okay. All right, so I'm going to scooch this down. And I'm using Faber Tac glue. And I like the Faber Tac glue, it works really fast. I don't like the smell of it though. It smells very strong. But I do like the glue. It's very tacky, it's very sticky, and a lot of times I will use a skewer to kind of tamp it down onto the glue so that I don't end up with glue all over my fingers. And you can also use your skewer to kind of move it around. And these skewers are super cheap at, you know, the grocery store you can buy a whole pack of them for I want to say you get 50 of them for like $3.99 and I use them in my kitchen and I use them in my art studio and actually lately I've just only been using them in my art studio because I bought metal ones for the kitchen those kind of fare better on the grill I think okay so we're gonna give that a minute to dry and in the meantime I'm gonna decide what else I want to go on there to do with this piece it's really pretty and everything but I think it maybe would look under look better under like a group of flowers or something do I want to add any bling I think I might want to add one row of bling and that's what I really like about this bling ribbon is you can just it's kind of sewn together with thread and you can cut off exactly the amount that you want. I 
Oh, that looks really pretty. And I have one, one too many. I'll stick that up there for later. I don't throw away anything. Oh, that looks so beautiful. So again, I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac and I'm just going to tack this right on. Fabri-Tac I'm finding works really well on paper um, and on cloth and on, I don't know about wood, but it sure does work really well on paper and on cloth. So I've started using that sometimes um, instead of tacky glue. I mean, I still use tacky glue, but this works really, really well. It just stinks. It stinks so bad. It smells so strong. Well, Ange, why don't you put this on upside down? Good golly. Okay. There we go. I wonder what it would look like if I did it's not going to let me manipulate it enough to be able to see but I was kind of wanting to see what it would look like if I kind of made it like that I'm going to try it I mean what's the worst that could happen I have to pull it off it's not like I haven't done that before I think it's going to look beautiful though. So I'm just going to put my Fabri-Tac glue down in the direction that I want it to go. And pull off enough of our pearls so we can work with it. And I'm just going to start tacking it down where I want it. And I think that's the key. You just have to try things. You don't know if you're going to like them unless you actually get down onto the desk and just start trying it. And if you don't like it, it's just paper, guys. That's all it is. It's just paper. And a lot of times you can just sit and manipulate it the way that you want it. If you hurry, you can do it before it dries. You know? That was a little wonky, but I fixed it, I think. Sometimes when you're working on a project, and you start looking at it, you start questioning yourself whether or not this is even going to come out the way you want it. But what I have found is if you don't give up and you keep going and you just let it run its course and you keep adding elements, taking elements away if you need to, just let it run its course. I think you will find in the end you come out with something quite lovely. I mean, I may look at this and say, oh, I just don't think this is going to come out right. You know, and I could just wad it up and throw it in the garbage and walk away from the desk frustrated and angry because I've done it. Or I could just say to myself, what else could I do to it? So... What I have here is some little baby silk flowers. And now I just want to kind of see, see what I mean? Like when you start adding these little elements like this, you can really make this quite beautiful. So I'm going to do just that. 
I'm going to use my hot glue gun because that tends to work better in some cases. Let me see first though, I know I wanted that one to go there, but let me just lay these out first and see. Oh my gosh, this is going to be just simply beautiful. I'm already in love with it. And this is what I mean. I look, I can look at it and I can say, oh, <laughs> is this going to look right? Do I even want this? And then you start adding more elements to it and then you're just so pleased with it and so happy. Let's see, do I want another reddish one on the end? I think I do. I could see myself giving this to someone who was getting married. Definitely. This would make a lovely card envelope for someone. That one's already glued. Of course, you want to be careful. You don't want to burn yourself. my ow 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 <laughs> okay you guys I was gonna take that off of the video wow and not let you see it but I just burnt the living daylights out of my finger with hot glue so I just wanted to warn you guys that this can happen if you're not careful so please don't let your kids play with hot glue by themselves make sure that if your kids are doing anything with hot glue that you're supervising because I went and immediately put ice on this and it's already blistering. I burnt myself here and I burnt myself there. So you want to be really super careful. Um, use tweezers or if you're working with small elements like this um, or um, put the glue down on the paper. Don't make the mistake that I did because man alive that really hurt. That really hurt so bad. So we're going to continue on with this now that I've injured myself. <laughs> wow, that really hurt. Like it burnt so bad. It's almost as bad as getting burnt on the hot stove. Like hot glue can be brutal if you are not careful. So let's see. Another red one. It's not really red. It's more of a dark pink, but I keep calling it red because it's darker than, darker than all the others. This is really going to be quite beautiful when we are done. I guess I probably could have used Fabri-Tac. I'm going to get a different white rose for this one. Um, <clears throat> I probably could have used Fabri-Tac, and that might be a really good alternative to use with your kids. If you're going to let your kids craft with you, you just want to watch them really closely. Cause that really really did hurt let me show you guys this can you see that you see that blister wow that hurt like crazy Woo! and it also kind of messed up my concentration a little bit of where I was going <laughs> with my idea oh my gosh so anyway um, and then if you get those little glue strings obviously you can just pull those back later or pull them off later. Okay, so let's have let's have a sip of coffee. Mm. Ooh, calm down. Do I want to add? I think I want to add a little bit of lace above this bling. I think that would look really pretty. And since my lace is a little bent on the edge, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that off. And we are going to use our fabric tag this time because, oh man, it's like still stinging. If you have ever burnt yourself with hot glue, you can relate. It'll stop. It'll stop hurting after a while. It just, it just smarts right now. So we are going to just put this right down here, right up next to that bling, and let that dry. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut off the excess very carefully. 
I thought I hugged some floral stamps and we're in luck. I have a brand new pack right here unopened. What do you think about that? I go to Tuesday morning all the time and I go in there and see what new stuff that they have brought in from when the stores, we have the, if you guys aren't from the U.S., um, we have this store here called Tuesday Morning. I don't know if you guys have it in your country, but um, we have a store called Tuesday Morning and it's kind of like a, a second seller type store so when um, other stores like Michaels Hobby Lobby etc can't sell their art supplies and whatnot they will sell them to Tuesday morning and Marshall's Ross and I think TJ Maxx is another one I'm not positive but they'll sell them to them and then they get resold at a much higher discount so always be on the lookout at places like T Tuesday morning, TJ Maxx, Ross and Marshalls. A lot of times they'll have craft supplies over in the back area by the household goods and whatnot. So I'm just going to take this stamp and I want to see which way I want it to go before I stamp it. It would be probably helpful if I use the image instead. Yeah, see I think I want it to go we want it to go like this so when they turn the card over that's the image that they see and I'm going to be using I'm going to try something here don't know if this will work I've never done this before I think I've seen it done it just popped into my head to try it but I'm going to try this sponge sugar and What is this called peeled paint I'm gonna try just stamping just the leaves with the peeled paint I've never done this before it might be kind of neat let's see how it goes we'll ink up just the leaves and then We'll see how it goes. I hope it doesn't ruin my whole masterpiece here. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, I really like that. Now what you can do, if you're not 100% satisfied, is... You can take a like a Tombow and then use the pointed end of it and you can just kind of go in and not color the rows in but maybe just do the lines a little bit and just kind of give them a little bit more of a definition just very squiggly very haphazardly just kind of give it a little bit more definition if you want it to be a little bit darker or just use a darker a darker color than I did and you can kind of see where the lines are and just give it a little bit of a just a little bit more definition There we go. Wow, that's really, really pretty. I'm really, really happy with the way that came out. And to be honest with you, I'm really lucky with the way that that came out because I could have totally messed up my whole masterpiece. But like I said, you guys, it's just paper. You know, these things can be pulled off and reused. You know, so don't feel like you have to throw the whole darn thing away just because you make a mistake. You can peel those things off and you can reuse them. So now this is my card. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. Okay, another thing you can do if you have them is I have these stamps here. These uh, stamp stamps. <laughs> and you could actually put an image up here 
at the top. Now I wouldn't do it in black because compared to this it's going to really really stick out unless that's what you're going for. But you can use any of these. I like this one. It's a little bit too big for what I'm going for here. So what I might do is just use this one here, this airmail stamp, or maybe this. I like this one, one cent, one cent paid. Let me get my smaller block. Look how cute these are. They're so cute. And then I'm going to be using, um, let's see, that one's a little dark. I like the espresso truffle. Let's try that one. It's not quite as dark as black. I mean, it'll still stand out, but I think it'll look nice. And actually, what you can do is, if you don't want it to be so dark, stamp it off one time. See how dark that is? Stamp it off one time and make sure it's right side up. Gives you an opportunity to make sure it's going the right direction. There you go. See that ghosting effect is perfect. So you can just stamp it off one time and then you have the ghosting effect from the stamp with the leftover ink. And then you can always cut that out and reuse that in something else. So there you go, you guys. That is it for today's tutorial. This is how you take a plain Jane envelope that started out like this and take some spray and some lace and flowers and bling and stamps and look how beautiful this is. I would definitely give this to a friend who is getting married. I think this is just gorgeous. Then you can put some stamping on the back. You can watercolor that in too if you'd like to. And I think I may just do that because I think it looks really pretty as is. But I think it would look even more beautiful if I did some shimmer watercolor in there. So I may just do that as well. But then when they open the card, they see that it's all beautifully decorated. I mean, even you can see the ink goes right through the inside of the card. Isn't that just gorgeous? I'm so happy with it. And then you can also, if you want to... You could also put some lace right here on the edge so I may do that and then uh, see what that looks like and now you have this beautiful lace on the back that just really adds such lovely elements and of course you guys know what I'm gonna do next don't you you just know already what I'm going to do next. I need something else to go right here so that when you close it, it just looks lovely. So what should we add? It, I think it definitely needs bling. So what I'm going to do is because I do not want this to come off at all, I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue, even though these are already sticky on the back. I don't want it to come off and I'm just gonna hot glue this little Aurora Borealis and then of course if you have glue that ekes out you wanna you wanna get that off of there and I'll hold that down with the hot glue and there you have it you guys look how beautiful this is I'm so happy with this I think anybody that gets this card would be so pleased with it. I think they would just absolutely cherish this forever. I don't think this would be a card that someone would toss in the trash after the day. And if they do, they do, but I really don't think they would. I think they would put this in their wedding box or their Mother's Day um, things that they've gotten from their kids for all these years. And I think that they would save this and cherish it forever. Look how gorgeous this is. I love this. This is just a surprise little element on the back that would just, I think this would just make me so happy if I got this. But of course, you guys know me now. I'm all about the bling. <laughs> I'm all about the bling. But so here you go, guys. This is our video tutorial for today. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you have not yet subscribed to me, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to click that bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. I'm going to be bringing more of this shabby chic stuff to you guys. I mean, I've been an artist for 
about eight or nine years that I have struggled with finding my niche and I think I have finally found it. I absolutely love doing Shabby Chic and I think this is the kind of content that I'm going to be continuing on with going forward and I hope you guys enjoy that sort of thing. I mean, there'll be other things that I'll be doing. I'll be doing some speed paintings because I know people enjoy watching those as well. But when it comes to art journaling and making DIY ephemera and stuff like that, I love Shabby Chic. So I hope you guys do too. And I hope that you will come back and see me. So until next time, see you in the next video. Bye.